Yeah. It's because you can't gamble on Twitch. Nope. That's why they made it. And I do not yeah, like them because the of what they pulled on us. Like the, the only difference between Kick and Twitch is the is that they have le less lax rules. No, they don't. They really don't. They lie about no, but they, they, they change they, their rules constantly. Yeah, yeah, but like those. again, like they allow you to do gambling and. Oh yeah, yeah, that's about the only. Thing. You know, explicit things. So, so it, but it, it's still just it's still Twitch. Also, my ping ah, is I'm getting hey, cold. Stop shooting me with stuff. I play as in Warhammer 40k Grow Trader. Uh, Rogue Trader, we've been playing it for a little while. Not that kind of kick. Uh, it, it's spelled with a C, this one. Yeah, it's spelled like you're kicking something. Yeah, I wonder, does, uh, does this yes. game support? What? Uh, sorry. May I ask you a question? I forgot to share my screen. Mm hmm. <laughs> But what? Arch wants to ask a question. Nope, that's it. Oh. I was loading it up. What did you want from me? Uh, Everything. There, get in. Join. It's then you get your Abelard boy. Then you get your boy. Seventy dollars to get Parasite Eve. I have it. I also have, and it used to be sealed. An original unopened copy of Silent Hill 1, then somebody that Arch and I know opened it up. Was it the same guy who stole your Black Lotus? No, that was my cousin. No, this guy did try oh. to steal my Shadow Hearts game. Wait, you have Shadow Hearts? Yeah, I actually have two copies of it. I have every one of the games, except the very first PlayStation wait, wait, wait. 1 game. Wait, yeah, I was about to say, like, which one, like... Do you have Covenant or have from the one. New World or the original? I have that one and the original. Yeah. The only one I don't have is the prequel. I've never been able to find it. Oh, Kodalga? Mm -hmm. What is your region listed as? Does anyone know how to spell the original one, the, the prequel? K O U D E L K A. Oh, write that down in the general chat. There's no way we're going to remember it. Uh, jump in. I sent you the thing, Arch. I'm fucking trying. It's not letting me join. It's weird. Let me send it to you again. Yeah, send that. Send that to. Uh, who was curious about it? Here. Here we go. I'm in. It's being gay. Yeah, it could. Okay. I want that to finish my collection off. I used to actually have the original print poster of the game, like went from when they were in like GameStop and stuff, the promotional poster for. Shadow Hearts, and that got destroyed, which like, made me sad. Yeah, like, I, I fucking, like, it, it's funny, like, I never really finished the game, but I just loved the entire concept of the um, I Harmonix, as really uh, they're called. I stream Shadow Hearts in its entirety. It's such a good game. Yeah, like, I, I honestly, I, I didn't like most of the, the gameplay, but I just loved the concept of, like, it, instead of, like, you know, just being a badass, it's like, you're just a dude, and then he, he can turn into a monster that is super badass. Right? Like I got it because I act when I, I first I got the first one because I got it confused with Kingdom Hearts, and I was really <laughs> confused playing it, trying to figure out where all the Disney characters were. And then the more I was playing, I'm like, wow, this is really cool. Like, this is really funny. Like, you ever play Legend where, where, of Dragons? Where, where, uh, I don't think so. Uh, no, I think I, 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 yeah, they the dragon. Who knows? There's also someone called Blue Dragon that kind of does the sort of the same thing as Zelda Hearts does. Where it's like you a, your character's chest metal. Waiting for you guys to confirm. Yeah, I think Mike is uh, Mike is dead. Mike's probably. Dead. I, I I already no I already confirmed. Look at. Oh okay, we've got to split up everybody. What the because fuck is I'm this controlling everyone gate looking shit I'm looking at? Who did you want, Arch? Abelard and my fishwife, please. All right, you guys are good. You guys are good. Uh, I need to be. Am I assigned the other ones? Yep. Yeah, you've got Adira and okay. Argenta. 
and if you want him, you can Rise have Pascal to the top. too, so you can or be a fucking melee beast. Or get left in the beast. dust. Yay. Well, my character? Uh, what, click, click, oh, double cool. click on their image and you'll see them. So, so what, when do the boys survive? That's what I want to know. Never. There's no boys? Hey guys, somebody no killed Minuteman. No, oh no. There's loot. Get the loot. Also the loot. bombs. But what, what do you mean Nothing's there's no boys? Nothing's impossible for this old officer. There are none. Compared to naval service, that was How? How can you challenge. have a Warhammer game with no boys? And because there's a million other result. enemies and everyone's tired of orcs, you fuck! Oh, He's been, like, I was really confused on what he was talking about. Well, you you gotta get the boys to go, otherwise you can't fucking run it. <laughs> or else you're gonna have a fucking drive-by in space with no boys. Judging by the artistic... The artistic... Caustic. <laughs> Caustic. <laughs> by the artistic. I, I mean, I mean, I, I have met smell. people on the spectrum, but they're kind of toxic, so I'll, I'll, I'll yes. Oh, shit. Well, oh, somebody clip that. Smell, <laughs> somebody <laughs> clip that. The caustic smell and oily stains. Prometheum, Prometheum was previously stored here. It must have fallen into the hands of the heretics. <laughs> That wasn't so difficult. Why are you stealing all the Prometheus? <laughs> Anything else in here? Mm, nope. Old oh, tab. Should yeah, this isn't the main area we're supposed to go. This is like an offshoot little area. Yeah, this is just I a little... Uh, keep when my we come back here open. later, there'll be some dudes in here we can yell at. It's always fun to yell at people. I mean, th this is reminding me quite a lot about, like, the original Fallout. Yeah. I've never so played the original. Goodest form. boy. Is that yeah, I think it's be because made? like it, it, it's isometric, uh, top-down ship. Actually, maybe not Fallout as much, but more like um, like multiplayer um, Arcanum. It's Pascal, the goodest boy. I love Pascal. Okay. Okay. That is a human. That's not a boy. The blinded ones are harmless. No sense in shooting them. Oh, no, Pascal's attention. the tech priest. He's making a reference to the fact that the boy is a normal reference to We need to take him alive. No one gives a shit. Go on your wall. What's he doing? Fall back! Pascal said, "Eat a dick." Apparently. Maybe I'm not caught up on a lot of lore, but I don't May think it's like Greece would ever face. fucking, like, yeah, the summon the machine gun to explode itself. Uh, he absolutely would. Fuck a toaster? Who wants to play Pascal? I have Abelard. I don't mind Pascal. You want to take him, Moko? It's a robot voice. Oh, wait a minute, uh, wait a minute, uh, well, yeah, if you want to have Boko do it, if Boko wants to. Why, you have It was gonna be Mallbot. No, like, no. Uh, Arch oh, Arch yeah, like no, let Arch be Mallbot. That was my idea. Yeah, <laughs> let Arch be Mallbot. The man dressed in crimson should not have survived an explosion like that. However, he is alive. You hear the wheezing of the respirator that covers half of his face. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Not another step. A trill comes from the folds of the partially smoldering, smoldering crimson raiment. It is Binaric speech, the sacred language of the Adeptus Mechanicus. A Binaric hymn transforms into a Vox synthesized voice that sounds like thunder rolling over a vast plain. Not another st I know he already said it, but it's fun to say. <laughs> I know. We haven't gotten that voice in forever. For I am death. Hell yeah. I'm gonna use that Wait, line next time M. I get to be Mulbat. He's M, basically. His gaunt hand rises to stop you, and immediately your Vox howls in pain, and your machine equipment starts crackling. The tech priest's blazing power axe disgorges a cloud of righteous sparks, and his visor glows menacingly in blue and green. Leap, for I am death. By the throne! 
What is that servant of the Omnissiah made of? Adamantine? Ugh, blast it! Abelard clutches his head as his ocular implant is racked with a wave of interference. I forgot the fact that Terrans are The all rogue up. trader. Right. Abelard, this is no time to lose your composure. Present me. Rogue trader von Valancius greets you, honored tech priest, and graciously grants you permission to remain in her presence. You're in other words, you right. will be my bit soon. I identify you as a member of a high stratum belonging to Rogue Trader House von Valancius. I am detecting no need for confrontation. That's right. Learn to kneel. The I, I forgot that the thing everybody in you is no longer like functional. <laughs> Therefore, I propose that we continue to advance to the rendezvous point with the governor's soldiers. Do you want to read the rest, Arch? The menacing blue glow, blue green glow, fades in the tech priest gaze. Goodness gracious, that alcohol is starting to hit. He lowers his arm, and your equipment ceases to malfunction. The tech priest stares resolutely forward. His mechadendrite tentacles rising gracefully around his hunched figure, which is illuminated by the flames of the smoldering remains of the machine. He had it coming, the piece of shit. Who are you? Points at the exploded machine. How did you manage to kill off a slew of people and blow up a sacred machine without even laying a finger on it? We. The fuck are you? Why'd you diddle that toaster? I identify as Magus Pascal Hanema of the priesthood of Mars. By the grace of the Omnissiah, I am currently assigned to the maintenance personnel of the station Altar Templum Calixis X17. This entire time, Sachi's so still just writing everything down. Altar Templum Calixis. I have heard the name before. The station appears on House Orcelio's star charts in the Furibunda system, not far from the Void Colony of Footfall. You have traveled a long way to come here, esteemed Magos. Okay, now look. Fishwife is, uh, Furibundus, that's not full of furries, is it? Because if it is, we're going to have to send a few space marines there. That's what the Black Templars have been fucking crusading against forever. That's why they need the numbers. I, I was about to say, like, it, it is called Exterminatus. It is. Damn straight it is. I... This was my doing. Fuck. The tech priest turns around and stares aghast at the burning remains as if he had nothing to do with what had just happened. His vox produces a mournful prayer. Are you going to be able to continue? Or the liquor hit you too hard? I... Can you not hear me? Now we can. Oh, I, mean, I, heard, can I heard him fine. I heard you, I heard right? Fine leave, but I heard you say fuck. So I'm like, are you okay? Oh, yes, <laughs> I am fine. The voices are this was being my doing. Did I fuck him. that toaster? They're saying garbled, conflicting things. Like they're talking about completely different people. But he's not a threat to you. Even if that's a bit hard to believe after all the fireworks. Idra has been he's staring at the tech priest, people. biting her lip. She finally leans to your ear. Wow, Idra's into him. I'd you like think? to fuck that toaster. Idira, stop it! <laughs> you don't even know how you cause such an explosion? The Omnissiah granted me a revelation. The spirit of this machine was dying, but it wished to perform a service, for such was its design. I sensed this and appealed to it. I do not know how I did it. I merely followed my intuition. The understanding granted by the Omnissiah was not permanent. It has left me. Can we uh, date the toaster, fucker? I will not tell you. Don't be that I cruel mean... to me. I, I don't want to date Mike anyway, because like, we have no I came problem. here to carry out a oh. sacred mission. My mentor, Archmaker's Amonat, summoned me, and I hastened to answer his call. I've been rejected by better men than you. 
and I was on my way to Governor Medina to determine my mentor's current location. My escort was ordered by the commander to discontinue I maintain my position and wait to be merged with your you, group. I am nearly the best then, fucking thing you could ever get me. And even I don't they let me. themselves be killed. It was an unacceptable All complication to my task. It's, yeah, Look, it's your if you're gonna, if you're gonna have a couple fight, songs. go do it in the other call. Yeah, but it's like him singing emo songs all the way, and then he wonders why he's lonely. It's like, dude, stop being emo. He must well, be like quite devoted or to your mentor old. to be willing to wade into this mess for him. Cessation of vital functions is an unavoidable phenomenon, and therefore an insignificant one. The doctrine of worship repudiates the fear of death. Does he have a mouth? Is Under he capable of smiling? No, he, no, he's speaking like through a voice box thing, like grafted on. Yeah, his but mouth. Uh, it's smiling under his respirate, respirator mask. Nothing's grafted. It's like the Omnisign gives me the algorithm for redemption and triumph in service. I will be redeemed. And so, I like, will from, try it. from what I understand, would take me that like the, the lower jaw has been removed and is then replaced with, with mechanical shit. But you know, they still have the over lips, so like you can still kind of like seemingly see like they're like, going it's like going up and or down. Do deck priests have dicks? They do so, full clarification. Sort of, like, mechanism. <laughs> yeah. As an acolyte, when they start out, they are about as human as they can be. They earn their first implants over time. They develop more and more. If it, if it's like really necessary for them, which ninety percent of the time respirators are, they're fucking implanted with it and they move on. The whole goal is to be as much as machine as possible while still maintaining a human brain. So machine dick. Unless you're fucking call and his special magical snowflake bullshit, and you have seven human brains for no reason. What? I was about to say, isn't there like 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 somebody who had like an algorithm where like uh, like ninety percent of their human brain was removed and replaced with mechanical inputs? So it's just like the lizard brain is is stuck because they have the um the, the, the spinal fluid was going through it. Successful and mutually beneficial cooperation. He's on my side. Who wants the tech priest? You you got a quest to escort him, so. Have fun. Who wants Give the tech priest? All right, you get the tech priest. He's your boy now. Yeah, my boy. Yeah. I let them control much. most of the people, otherwise bad things happen. I know my limitations. Attention span, what is that? Yeah, like I have one of those. Yeah, Shadow Hearts is a good game. I'd say try it if you can. I wish it would go on, like, the PlayStation Network or something. I want more people to play it, but Midway doesn't exist anymore, so nobody knows who owns the rights right now. Technically, technically I think Warner no, does. Would... Keep your wits about they you. Warner bought the, most the... of Midway, but I don't know how much exactly that they own. That's why they have Mortal Kombat. Yeah, but they, 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 there's a lot of IPs they have. They, they were like, like, Carnival is also Midway, and that was bought oh by... Oh my god, if I could get a stream working of Carnival, you know I'd do it in a heartbeat. Yeah, we've, I mean... I, we've I, had I, so I can many help you people. set it up. No, we've had so many people in the, in the Discord trying to get it to work. It's I such a nightmare. Yeah, like, again, like, it unites us. I, I can't get a cabinet working, but I, I could I could do you a are right. later, but like... Only we know what it no, is to pray you, to our intercept. Knowing you and your fucking crippled hands, you wouldn't be able to fucking last, like, half a second. Fuck you. Oh, right here, we need Pascal to, uh, fuck with those turrets so they gun down everybody for us. Yes. Like, Beauty, I'm, uh, Beauty, Mike, I'm, go, I'm trying to say, like, like do, do you want Carpal Tunnel? Because, like, fucking I already Carnival have Carpal will give tunnel. you Carpal Tunnel. Yes, yeah, so, so, yeah, so, so don't play Medieval because it will fucking give you even more <laughs> Carpal Tunnel. Current, uh, Midway had a lot of games that people didn't realize. Yeah, that's because it was, they were like, they wasn't even a public, it was like a license with multi game. So they just licensed a bunch Fire! of Fire! Your arrogance will be your downfall. All right. I will take you down. Uh, we we we're gonna we're gonna be engaging in combat. Hmm. Where can I hide? 
Right up. If I hide no, there, the is there. Okay, can't go there. You can't really go anywhere. It doesn't matter. We're just gonna wipe them out anyway. Okay. The, t the turrets are gonna annihilate them. Jeez. Good job. Oh, it plays like XCOM. <laughs> okay, I see. Go do war crimes. See what I mean? See, like, you left a couple alive, though. Like, us primitive people are calling it war crimes, but remember, this takes place like 40,000 years in the future. I, I don't believe crime exists anymore. It's just something that happens. Oh, it does exist. You just, you know, it do if you get caught, it's not going to end well for you. Look at Abelard being Abelard. I have to punch really? thing. If you change your yeah. armor, does it show on the character? Yes. Okay. Oh, my I thought Abelard's ring. armor looked different. Argenta, don't mm. miss. Go be dummy, mommy. Anytime you can, like, please hit down a furious recital. If you ever have the extra action points, I would be eternally grateful. Furious recital. Did you mean it on you, Arch? No, his Argenta does a furious. Oh. It's very difficult to explain without explaining the game. Um, so you Each remember the heroic actions? Yeah. Everybody's got a special super duper move that you have that's based on a it's like a fucking die, limit break. Die, die, I'm enraged. Um, and we all share the same meter for the limit break, and Argenta is great for building it up because our furious recital just kicks it above and beyond. The, the best person to use it for is Fishwife, though, because she gives people double turns. Like, there's some real good stuff, but her double turn also gives the person their super. <gasps> so, like, if I double turn Abelard, he'll be f fucking chopping things for days. Is the overkill thing the, the, the two skulls a meter above the, uh, the skill thing? I refuse. It's as good as done. You never ah! stood a chance. There's a lot of skulls everywhere on this screen. You're gonna have to be a little no, more I'm specific. Not, I'm talking about the, the blue bar above the. Uh, the Ooh, we all got a level up. Yes. Okay. So it's actually full of jobs now. Then. Yeah, that's the limit break. Anybody can use it. I usually use it for a uh, fishwife because she can double send somebody, and Pascal's about to rush in and beat someone's ass. Abelard's good at covering ground, but Pascal does Abelard's more damage. Abelard's good at just walking can... up and smacking someone. Yeah. He's like, excuse right. me, boom. What do you mean there's a hole in the wall? The, the, the wall was in my way, sir. What okay. wall? What is this wall you speak of? Family. <gasps> Obstruction? I must break it immediately. I don't know why I somehow made him action. <coughs> and that is the manliest growl from Mike you will ever hear. Here you go, Mike. That was a cough. I know. Got your air of authority and the fucking voice of command, and now go lay your dick into somebody. Go be evil. Go bully. That skull is so good because he starts off with that fucking las gun. And then again, you have to be able to hit first. Try again, Mike. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. I gave it to Pascal for or fucking Abelard for no reason. Fuck yeah, go get him, Abelard. That's as much as he's got. Damn it, Abelard. He tried. 
Fuck you. The turrets don't care. Abelard, I order you to actually go and kill somebody. <laughs> yes, Lord Captain. Violently murder. And make it entertaining. I want to, you know, laugh. Ow. There's one bitch remaining. Who can't shoot for shit? You know who's about to come. And it's Me. not you. Oh no. You <gasps> kill stealing shit. <laughs> Fuck you! No, I don't care if he stole it. your kill as long as he's dead. You can fight about it later. Remember yeah, to level up. Now, loot the shit out of him. Nothing to loot. Remember your levels. What the hell are you talking oh. about? I just looted like a million oh, things. Oh, you looted them all, that's why. How do I do the uh, levels again? Click oh, the yeah, you just have to click on the thing. And then click next at the bottom of the screen for each screen. Let's see. If the operative is not moved this turn, they gain plus three ballistic skill. And plus seven intelligent bonus damage for every five cells between them and the target. I'm gonna go with that. That sounds like a good one. We eagerly await your decision to stomp on babies, Lord Captain. Yes, yes, I did promise you you were going to get double the baby stomping after last time. And I swear to God, if you bring it up one more time. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. We're going to the upper way? Yeah. I should remember to save at some point. Let's kill some more cultists. I think it auto saves when you load into a new area. Usually it does. I'm still loading. There we go. Yeah, it was being slow loading. It seems like their last update is making it a bit slower. Oh, uh, so my people... computer is ancient. Uh, two people have not uh, upgraded. I know. I was upgrading them when you went to the new area. Oh, sorry. Let me know when you're done. No, rush into combat. Don't loaded. let him do it. Why is your mic louder? Because you can't stop me. Oh, he's going into mall bot mode. You cannot stop me. I will kick you in the anus. <laughs> it has been a while since I've done mall bot. We need to do another dark side detective. Mm, racist. That's anybody on this channel. To All right, we're good. Okay. Did you know in the Mechanicus, the toasters fuck you? Oh, no. Hey, shoot this guy in the brain. The young man <laughs> is a planetary guard uniform salutes you. Your ladyship, Private Camille Regis, ready to escort you 
to the command center for your meeting with the governor. I regret to say that the convoy sent to meet you was ambushed into critical loss and heavy ba fighting against the rebels. In other words, I'm the only survivor. However, the rebel forces was destroyed as well. We can set up for the command center. Ooh. Pat's go, that's you. The success to failure ratio of combat objectives completions for this world's military speaks to its subpar efficiency. You're a bunch of bitches. I will advise the local ruler to seek my fraternity's aid in upgrading their troops to servitor manipulus because you have no penis. <laughs> Awareness succeeded. Your uniform looks odd on you, soldier, as if it belongs to someone else. You know what? You get to be Camille. Moko? Oh, boy. Apologies, relationship. The soldier draws himself up and goes to adjust his gear. It's a new uniform. The guards are in a difficult situation right now. We have got issued whatever's left. And it isn't always the right size. I fucking hate this guy. Is he just a, he's just a guy, like a girl who tries to sneak into the army? Your mouth is full of mud, soldier. You are hiding something behind beaming hues of faith and loyalty. What is it? The soldier gulps nervously under the stern gaze of Cassius' ruby eyes. Yeah, I guess. In times like these, if you give in to weakness, you're done for. And I'm not done with life just yet. And this was turning to into your fucking voice. blood circus. Holy shit. Idura <laughs> winces, glancing at you, then shakes her head. How did you make it out alive if your entire convoy was perished? I'd like to help them. The soldier replies with confidence. I didn't run, your ladyship. If it was... If that's what you're thinking, I was by my command on the side until the very end. I shot the last rebel from the gang that attacked us. But alas, the captain succumbed to his wounds and the other has already died. The impervious dissolves. Lord Captain. I have, in addition to my baby stomping boots, my shit stomping boots. Good, you'll have I to get I would like riding. to kick this man. What can you tell me about the insurgency? Enough talk, haven't you? <laughs> the ungrateful rebel rose in rebellion against the, pla the planet's lawful governor and his lordship Col Colleagus? What? Caligus winter scale. Oh, okay, sorry. Caligus. Okay. Caligus winter scale are ruled by the will of the emperor. They are all heretics, serving of the most terrible death. All of them will be restored. The guilty will be punished. Enough talk. Let's go to the command center. I'll shoot you in the back. Lost your leadership. We will have to take. This avenue, it leads to the staff part right at the command center. It's a short walk. Then really how did you get me. shot? Well, you know Edward, what to do. Shoot him. Seriously, at her first chance, shoot him in the spine. He's that bad. This ocular implant was a worthwhile investment. I don't know. I just don't like him. I was about to say, I like, as him. soon as you turned around, he ran away. Now he's behind you, somehow. Also, Moko, can we talk about how you immediately went to it's a woman in man's clothing and not he stole the uniform? Is there money to be made? Yeah, because Mulan is a thing. Someone go Name me another this. Mulan. Locked. I want it. I'm sorry, what was it, Og? <laughs> Nothing's impossible I said, for this name old Name another officer. Mulan. Ever. Well, there's Far Mulan and there's Mulan and Man Mulan and Cousin Mulan. I always He's gonna have keep a this up, plan. you know. And you, Mulan. Attention to detail is the key to success. Why do we get a pause? And girl, Mulan. Because there's a bomb back here that you sprinted by. Oh. So someone decided to set it off. And Correct. Tamulan and 
Shut up. <laughs> There's an ambush. Go ahead. Yeah, an ambush kind of, you know. Honestly, it's just because I've never met a man named Camille. Honestly. Yep. I wish we could have shot him in the back earlier. You're right, you're you should have Now you will die for Aurora and the final dawn. I'll make an example out of you. you knew you Show them no the mercy. Okay, you know. That damn degenerate drunk furry porn. I think you stopped doing Let's that, but see, still. Where do I want to go? You can't. It's an ambush. Oh, God. We're being butt fucked. Oh, I can go grab a snack. Destroy them! I'm going to go get some You've strawberries. You've got a minute before you need to do Let's anything. cream because it's yummy. Also, fuck that guy. How fucking yeah. apropos. Thank you, uh, Mike. Mike. Mike, you need to be prepared. She said she was going to go grab a snack. I am... Okay. Cool. Stuff. Maybe. I'm going to shoot this guy in the face now. I like... It. The joke was that she's going to kid kidnap you. Sister oh, Argenta. I believe that I just blew that guy up in the meat. He's yeah, meat that, that, now. That, that that is just human brisket right there. <laughs> oh man, I fucking I love brisket. I feel. Wait, we should Anybody want some barbecue? Food. If you give him some smoke brisket, I mean, a pain won't stop me. Apparently, oh, yes. God. Maybe not something you should have asked. Go, fishwife. Who do you think you have a better deal with? Uh, Argenta is probably the best deal. Oh, she has gills, you heathen. Yeah, that's, I'm not disputing that, I just thought that she wasn't a fish, I thought she was like a, a you know, a walking corpse or something. Yeah. So I love Shoot another that, one! I love, I love the fact that Twitch chat has completely died, like nobody said anything in the past 15 minutes. None can escape the Emperor's judgment! Burn in hell! Now maybe they did it, just to update. Now it's still... The... Nobody's now it's time for some yet. hardcore Pascal action. Are you ready to die? Fuck me. I have a feeling that his name is Pedro. No. Never again. Cease and desist your bullshit. Hmm. Why is... But I mean, 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 the man starred in a Nicolas Cage movie. That, that's the greatest height of your career you could never have as an actor. <gasps> especially like that, now. That, especially that, that scene where him and, and, and Cage gets like a fucking high on acid. It's like a maze. <laughs> your comedy. It is a good comedy, and it's also ridiculous. <laughs> Over there! Nick, you owe $600,000 to the Bellagio. <laughs> On return, I have strawberries, whipped cream, and a little bit of cocoa. Mixed in. Cocoa powder. Hi, everybody. You missed, you bitch. Oh, it's my turn. I came at the perfect time. Yep. Your mm -hmm. mother. I won't compromise my principles. I'll see to it personally. Bitch says Good what? shot, Lord Captain. It's nothing. Thank you. I shall have a strawberry for that, for I earned it. It's very on brand for the rogue trader to be eating in the middle of a combat. <laughs> yummy, yummy strawberries. Nice and healthy. Mm. 
and that cocoa powder mixed with whipped cream is yummy. Well, I mean, we already made human brisket, so yeah. Let's eat. <laughs> if you still have your bolter, Mike, you could do a, a rapid fire and get like mm. four times the shots. Uh, let's see here. Do I have a bolter? No, I don't. I have a sniper rifle. Um, yeah, Cham fucked the Argenta. He put her with a sniper rifle and two melee weapons. Despite all her abilities being focused on rapid fire weapons. Mm. After the fight, you should change out her weapons. Do we have anything to change them out with? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we have shitloads of weapons. I haven't sold any and of the weapons yet. All right, I'll go into the inventory and take a check after we're done. Probably check and see some of the others to see if they can be upgraded, too. Uh, speaking of bolters, and this is completely unrelated, uh, Mike, how far have you gone into RoboQuest? RoboQuest? Uh, not really far at all. I haven't, I haven't picked it up too much. Well, this ocular uh, implant was a worthwhile investment. I, I'm down to, to, to teach you little Kerbal things, but uh, the, the, what I'm trying to get is that one of the weapons this you one. get is called a, a bolter, and it's literally like the bolter from uh, Space Marine. I mean, it sounds about right. He's also a robot, right, yeah. so it kind of makes sure sense hand. to have that kind of weapon. Yeah. It's basically bolters and, just and work on the, the idea of is, it, metal. It, it fire and like it, it's dangerous draw it fires it's explosive bolts and it's fucking amazing. Boulder rounds are explosive. Yeah, exactly. So, like you don't even have to aim with with, with with the gun, you just like you just aim it in a general direction and it usually takes care of things. <laughs> have a motherfucker, Mike. <laughs> Adira, could you please shoot that man in the fucking face? Why can't I move? Because you don't have any movement points, I gave you two action points. Ah, okay. Yeah, you were uh, uh, well, that dude right. off to the right. Yeah, yeah, I can kill him. I'm gonna be up all night. Ah, yeah, he's Beauty's dead. Beauty's up all night to get lucky. Go, fishwife. Well, I'm on sugar high right now. Oh, yeah. I like b b before this when I was playing Vidya, yeah, I, I just ate a ton of gummy bears and like I'm, I'm a bit yeah. There's nothing like special powder and strawberries. Mm. Special gummy bears. I mean, there's anal sex, but you know. What? I'm playing a drinking game where everybody mentions the emperor. I take a shot. Emperor. I'm sorry, but Abelard will slowly get more unhinged as the night goes on. <laughs> <laughs> now he's yeah, about to get I wild. I, 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 I love the fact that Archie's voice is, is slowly becoming the fucking voice I did for the clowning flat circus. Oh god. Like, soon we will meet! Oh yeah, we gotta do more of that game eventually. Now yeah. that we're both feeling it's good. Really, it's really, it's, it's a cool game, I, I wanna see more of it. Well, I don't have yeah, the yeah, ring. Just get, get, get through, like, uh, uh, if the game theory was right that we are in purgatory or not, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Or if we just, like, a, a sad cloud who's got getting a mental breakdown. Go, Abelard. Or both. Oh, God, Abelard. Oh, Abelard, don't fail. Otherwise, you can't have any more alcohol. I am so fat, I didn't have to. I refuse. Damn it. You can't shoot straight, you drug. Oh, I think I, I got too much to whipped cream. Hey, listen to the bearded I won't lady, be able to please. Mm. This eyes of pain and duty go hand in hand. And my new sidekick, Peeping Tom. Oh God, no. <laughs> pain and duty go hand go, in okay, hand. Okay. But you're a little bitch. Know, Why did Mike say that like a Pokemon trainer? He's because going I to did. catch them all, mostly for killing, but... My gut tells me it's a bad idea. Oh, I can't get it. Wait, so, 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 so the fuck I won't stand for it. it I'm sense. Professor Oak! Oh, God! When are we doing that again? <laughs> oh, God, I gotta organize that. I gotta organize that some weekend. Maybe, uh, maybe the weekend after we start Season 3. Because I want to do... Did I ever give that Starlax a name? 
Like I, I'm just waiting until we stop because I, I basically like, I'm basically turned into Godzilla at this point. Yeah, no, now you're a for alligator. Now you're fucking you're massive. You're still retarded, though. Yeah, I'm not saying that. Like you, you say, oh, you're Arch? saying that oh, Arch, Godzilla I want has sent my fucking Pokeball back. Like, you know, like, that reminds me. Moko's the one that I French kissed in that campaign. Yes. What? Uh, Moko he rolled made a up with one. an alligator. Get fucked. <laughs> so I asked Mike if I could do the nat one, and I just like he started spraying, and I just wrapped my mouth around his. <gasps> yeah, like I, I was yeah. doing a, the, the, um, I was doing the chomp move to eat ash, and and then he was doing the thing, and we ended up like our lips ended up touching. <laughs> I love how we just ignored I, I, the actual problem at that point and was just determined to kill Ash. Yeah. Like, yeah, Ash Ketchum showed up. It's like, no, we're not going to deal with the Psyduck that has apparently developed Tetsuo like Akira level powers. We're going to just go kill like the teenager that's really annoying first. Just give mm -hmm. us a minute. Yeah, because, and nobody because, thought to remove Pikachu. the bat. Yeah, that because, was the like, funniest part of the cyber, end. Cyber. At the end, when you told everyone you could remove the bat, and then I remembered you had told me about that, and I was like, oh, fuck, I forgot! And then everyone's response like, is, oh, yeah, we could've done that. that I can't, how is it that I can't hit him? Like, fucking, uh, psychokinetic side oh, dog. It's it really one just thing, the, but, like... The fucking pole's in your way? That's like, yeah, I know, it's literally the pole. It's literally the pole. So, somebody fucking, uh, like, you know, I was gonna say, can she run and gun? No, no, I didn't have another one because I had used it the turn before. Otherwise, I would have, yeah. Uh, so, I'm thinking the reason you couldn't hit the guy is because you, you're downstairs from where he is. So, because this is XCOM rules, so you you have low, less, um, less accuracy when you're shooting uphill. Arch, you better not eat my fucking Charizard. I want it back. I'm gonna eat that boy. Don't eat the Charizard. I want to torture him. He gets stuck in the char in the Pokeball every time he gets angry. Ugh, just He's a eventually minus angry, seven. so I let him out for a few seconds and then put it back in. Oh no, I'm gonna eat that boy. No, you used him to win the Pokemon tournament. Remember? I just and I'm gonna eat like, that boy. Like, one thing I remember most from that was just me going like. <laughs> And, and the worst part is I can't even recreate, like, recreate that voice. <laughs> I just point out that most of us were not the most homicidal killers. There's only two people in this entire campaign that are homicidal killers. Like, like, like so, so far, the one who's killed people the most is actually Mike in that campaign. No, I thought Cham had the good... Uh... The kill count. No, like he he he's just eating shit. Like fucking like. Oh, Mike you mean all like the random characters that I'm I'm yeah. murdering in front of you? Like 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 we <laughs> like came out of the cave. <laughs> like we came out of the cave in the midst of a fire, and then Gary Oak is there, and then Mike for some reason decides to have a ride on <laughs> and pale him <laughs> through the backside. <laughs> he's like, he's on fire. Mary. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then, found out and then about he revealed, the like, Gary oh yeah, clones. like, but, 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 but the Gary that died wasn't the original Gary, he was just a clone. Oh, wait, cause... that means that Arch has the biggest kill count in the game. Yeah. Technically, yeah, because clones. he's been gorging himself on Gary clone fetuses. You're fucking right. The, the wounded, wounded young, young man, man looks at you spitefully oh. and hisses. <laughs> Hisses. That what the hisses. fuck was that? <laughs> what are you he got cat? so mentally damaged he forgot what hissing means. Right oh, well, what the fuck? Your witcher you means nothing. A woa will come for you and Uru. And even if he does, Dude, no one will escape the final dawn. Uru. Bring down this man is mentally damaged and doesn't know how to hiss. Check. No, he's just he no no the pirate Camille is just a furry. Updating data catalog. The characteristic tendency of the planetary defense forces of Rikad Minoras to run into ambushes is not a consequence of chance or negligence. It can only be explained as some twisted variation of combat tactics. This phenomenon is depressing. As is that man's weird cat noises. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Aurora? What is the final dawn? 
a spark of madness oh, oh, flashes through the young man's eyes. Now I'm just pissing uh, Arch off by taking his moment. Aurora is a hidden truth. No one will be worthy of seeing her face. But those who are loyal will Uru and and Hour of the Final Dawn. Mm -hmm. You're enjoying Come join this us in the Kringle Circle. Oh, man. I, I, don't know why, I, I just I I don't know why I decided to make him furry, but there we go. Fuck Lord it. Captain, permission to stomp his face in. Absolutely, Abelard. I want you to make sure there's no bits of his skull left. Death to the Dying prisoner, it is a very you must kill it. I do not fear death at the hands of filthy duck mired in their own lives. Take my soul or woe, John. I'd like to imagine Abelard like sprints up the stairs and Goomba stomps on his head. Die in a fire! I just shot him in the dick, like, it's like, even better. I was about to say yeah, like yeah. I, it, it, I I was like thinking like he just rushing up the stairs and just like fucking uh, What's it called when they do that thing with the elbow, like, just slamming the elbow down on the face? Alright, everybody check out our elbow, elbow drop? Right. Yeah, elbow dropping, like, just elbow dropping his ass. <laughs> uh. Oh no, Purity, if you equip that, you have less dodge penalty. Oh no. No, I took off the less dodge penalty one. No, you have, you have even more than dodge <laughs> penalty now. Oh, he already took it, okay. Oh, sis, it's you a have a, a thing corrupted... Thing this game features in infinite inventory. <laughs> I have a what now? You have a corrupted Laz pistol that you can use, and a corrupted Inferno pistol. That's only people who are evil can use it. I go it is because you will succumb to chaos. Is that this? She also has them. No. So if, when you're in the inventory, on the top tabs on the right, you'll be able to see one is just weapons. It should be like the third weapon. It looks like a little handheld pistol. Heretic adherent? Uh, yep. That's right. Can't be equipped by this character. Oh, you're not full heretic yet. Even though you've been doing heretic shit. Never mind. Is it like, at least he's like 70% into greed. So. And like has, has a less uh, uh, awareness. Hmm. Well, I guess that means we're so going never... to have to do horrible shit. I really can't find anything better than the sniper rifle to put on her, honestly. On who? On uh, Argenta. Uh, you gotta remember, her skills are based on rapid fire and like getting triple down the fucking ammo spread. The sniper rifle's really good just all around, but all of her skills support ranged uh, rapid fire. Arch, would what I'm looking at the sub carbine be good for my character? It uh, is a downgrade completely. Like the the one you have equipped right now has more dodge reduction and additional hit chance and more fire rate. Like the only thing that's that's actually huh? better is is the ammo and range of it. The the big consideration is the gun that you have now has a uh, essentially, you're doing one shot at a time. And it costs four action points a whole fucking turn to reset. Yeah, but there, there's 15% chance that she will... Oh, there's something for, um, for our techie. Operator's gloves would be good for our techie. Okay. So, yeah, I'm sorry I'm, back, I'm, I'm backseating, but you're you know... You're fine. I'm terrible do. with this type of thing. That's why I ask you guys for help. Yeah, to, Next fight, uh, I'm gonna get up really quick to throw away some trash because now I'm all hopped up on sugar. I'll just like you know, to try to explain to Ark so he doesn't get like. Mad. Always keep your eye on the prize. A pipe on my mailbox. Do people do that to you often? Well, not not since I got rid of my mailbox, but yeah. I mean, I guess yeah. That's kind of. Yeah. You should have seen us playing Jackbox earlier. Hey, wait, wait, did, did you, did, did I tell you that story? Rise to the top, or get left right, in the dust. You got rid of your mailbox? No, like, yeah, literally, the, the reason I got, got got rid of it was, like, 
I, I was waking up in the morning to, to go to work and I just heard somebody like outside like because uh, the um, uh, the ground outside of my place it isn't paved it's like it's like small rocks and I just heard somebody like, like I heard the like big squishing of the rocks like oh stop then all of a sudden it stopped and I thought oh, okay there's somebody doing whatever then all of a sudden like two seconds later I heard a loud boom and turns out somebody put a fucking naval service. That was bomb a inside challenge. my neighbor's fucking trash. Let us not doodle. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, so there was like, uh, you know, uh, you know, fragments and uh, like of uh, trash and leather and like burnt plastic all over the fucking road. Oh, oh look, man. Lord Captain, more people to shoot. Go ahead, Avalar. You, know, you may start this one. You've been a good boy. Uh, uh, you will beg for mercy, all, but like, I Mike. will grant none. The what, I'm going to hide you. Your death. Let me go throw away. They, they told her that that she had to go get a new fucking trash bin by herself. Like they clean off the 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 broken one, but she had to go get a new one herself. If you look for Fishwife and Abelard, we're up by the combat. So I do apologize if my anecdotes are like winning. I've sucked this. Pascal, I am in need of a toaster. Welcome back, Lord Captain. Thank you. Well, between this and working on a zombie campaign with a friend of mine, and we're working on, I'm working on a building thing with him, and he's like, because I wanted to do a building with, like, different floors, you know, one apartment, some shops, you know, another floor shops and stuff, and he goes, they don't do that in America. I'm like, yeah, you can get, tr you can get places like that here. So we're having an argument on that, quietly. Like, the theory is, if you have a building that has everything you could need, how long would it take for the survivors to fuck it up? I'll give it long about an hour. As it takes. About an hour, honestly. You just need that one greedy yeah! bastard. Mm -hmm. Go get him, Avalod. You can do it, Avalod. You'll get head pats if you do it. You're on fire, Avalard! It's okay, he feels nothing. Oh, he might die, shit. One of us needs a You'll healing. You'll die, Avalard! I refuse. Go mm. get it, Captain. Don't let your guard down. I won't Burn. compromise my principles. Really? My gut tells Are you me fucking that kidding? I can see him idea. from here. No, but that chest high wall is too big for you to put your sniper rifle on. I Lord refuse. Captain, you are too short to look over that ledge. I won't stand for it. Listen here, Avalon. Oh. No head pads Pain for you. And duty go hand in hand. Colonel, I'm trying to sneak into this combat, but I'm dummy fake in the clipping off my ass to keep the. Go get him, Avalon. Have you seen the Metal Gear Solid T-shirt that's called uh, butt dialing? Colonel. Colonel. I love that they've actually gotten that guy to say that. We should deal with this. I took care of this and one. Oh. It's almost like voice actors are human. Who would have think? Still a guy behind, behind the tent thing. One fewer time. Yeah, kick his ass. Woo! Good job, Avalon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. 
My voice still isn't. Power. Good. I like how in this battlefield, this dude just like autistically squeeching every time he does anything. He's doing the Dragon Ball Z thing and the uh, the martial arts yeah. thing. The more you scream, the stronger you get. I took care of this one. Powering up like he's just going to go. Everyone else is just chilling in the background <laughs> while people are doing everything. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> How much can you string that? We're about Lord to find is a out. Fucking champion. He's also about to die. He has a 12 health point, hit point left. Doesn't matter. We only got like four oh. guys left. I completely forgot about that dude that was right behind me. I could have totally kicked his ass. You're just angry, Toaster, because you have not reached the battlefield yet. Let so me tell you. Yeah, that, that's the fun thing about turn based combat. Like, yeah, it, normally you, you just turn around and shoot the guy, but you can't because it's not your turn yet. <laughs> this Apollo, is nonsense. Okay? I am fine, Lord Captain. I have had yeah. worse times in Miami. What an unfortunate like, turn of fate. What, what, what are you referring to in Miami? Well, Lord Captain, I once got really high on mescaline. <laughs> <laughs> well, why'd you doing it in Miami and not in the product, though? Remember, guys, this is a mature stream. What the hell? Wait, there's fucking kids in the audience. What the fuck? Holy shit, go away. We don't want your kin here. Why do I see demon... Tentacles. What the fuck is going on? Because you're getting corrupted by chaos. If you're going to do that, chaos, could you at least come and help? No, no, it, it is. It is literally a sign that the Slanish is clo is like encroaching on your body. Slanish can try. Slanash can try it. And you just stop doing that voice. It's gonna start hurting. Yeah, well, she, she was, she was just, probably just like having like a spell to mute you completely. <laughs> Go get him, Abelard. You can do it, Abelard. You'll get your head pats. Become famous. We will make you an influencer, <laughs> Abelard. Carve through the booty. <laughs> Oh, he's just fucking, fucking arraying on the battlefield. <laughs> I mean, in all honesty, the tactics work because could you imagine a 250-pound man chasing you down and screaming "re"? You'd be scared. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and, and, and then you just like you you pull you you pull him full of fucking bullets, and he just like shrugs it off like it's nothing, and he keeps staring down your teammate. He just I, yeah, look, he's I, I shaking, and he's dead. Yeah, like I would fucking shit myself if that happened. That guy's leg was actually shaking. I can Lord. scream and explode your brain. Like, just I don't do it too much, otherwise you'll explode. Brain. Oh, beauty, Yo, we need fish to wife. Show... beauty, we need to show Mike uh, stops the zombie. Oh, I've God, seen stubs. A... Stubs is such a great you... game. Oh, shit. <laughs> it is such a fun game. It's really dumb and stupid, but it's really fun if you get it to work. Oh, you can get it to work. They remastered <laughs> it entirely, so it works now. Yeah, no, I, I think I have it on, on Epic Store. But, like, <laughs> One yeah, it's so, it, it is so fun. Just like... Oh, that guy's dead. Abelard will do everything. Good boy, like, Abelard. Is there money to be made? Yeah, like you, you fought into a group of people and they turned into something. I wish we had gotten a proper. We got a spiritual sequel to it, but I would have loved this a proper. This could be an sequel. opportunity. Yeah, but but then the, the, like the, the plot point was kind of dumb. Like this utopia that you're running is like basically your son, and 
The son is mad because he didn't never had his dad, but turns out the dad was a zombie. He was a sailman. He fucked him. Fuck that bomb girl. Crazy. Sweet. Should we go downstairs? No. Your arrogance will be your downfall. What the fuck we did have you more do? people that took the shit out of Lord Captain. What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it, Avalard! You couldn't warn me, so I could come oh, back Oh god upstairs. damn it! God damn it! I forgot these <laughs> assholes were over here. We've got this, and we've got the uh, anti-air battery. You fucker couldn't even warn me, so I could actually come closer to the battle. Nope. I didn't. I forgot this was here. Not you. I'm talking to him. Cause I he know, knew. but I'm the one that walked in. No, I'm the one that walked into oh. combat. I thought he did. Not to worry, Lord Captain. I will do all the things once again. Well, you're going to have to, Avalon. I'm a little far behind. <sighs> Brace yourself, Avalon. Actually, no. No, Avalon's in front of me. You hit this. Yes, he did. He does it That's just because to be an you ass. Can, you can reposition. Uh, I was behind you when you activated it, but I repositioned Avalon to be up in the front. I am ready for whatever comes. That's why he's behind the enemy right now. Good yeah. luck, boys. We're all gonna die, so fuck it. They're killing themselves. Yeah, they're actually, they do this a lot. They're kind of stupid. It's called line of sight, man. Look, he didn't like that guy. That guy owed him 50 bucks and he knew he was never getting the money back. Start carving up that guy's butthole. You gotta do his big mighty roar. Reduce to dust. Wham! Well, he's dead. Oh, oh, I took care oh. of this one. Excuse me. Oh shit! How was he on? Abelard's going on a killing spree. Good Abelard. This is for me not letting you punch those babies earlier. It's okay. It's okay. Anybody can punch babies. <laughs> All right. yeah, I guess this is the only really one I can shoot. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh no, I hit him. Lord Captain, I hate to say it, but I think this toaster is not as useful as he has once been foretold. Then take care of him. Toasty McCrosty. Here you are, toaster. The fishwife will help. What have you done? I've given you the bonuses for shooting and the, the stabbing and the murder. Burn in hell! Yes, indeed. He did. The fishwife always prevails. Damn it, fishwife! Edira, once again, we find ourselves at an impasse where you are useless. I am doing what Perhaps... I can. Damn it, I can't do shit. Aren't you able to cast electricity, you stupid psyche? No, I can't. Switch to your other thingamajig. What do you mean, my other thingamajig? So, on the left-hand side of your character portrait, you see the double rifle. If you click the arrow above it, it'll show you your second weapon. Or you can hit the X button. That also does it. Oh. 
Fuck, I do have lightning. I there you go. That. Do Perhaps don't question? shock me. I have a question about it here. Like, why the fuck are her eyes purple? Because she's a psycho. Oh. I still that can't. That somehow it. explains a lot, but also at the same time explains She's psychic. Nothing at all. Yeah, like it, it explains explain. a lot, but at the same time, not at all. In two words, I will give you a full explanation. Magic bullshit. <laughs> oh. Blah blah blah. Magic. Blah blah blah. Elder gods. Blah blah blah. Souls. Blah blah blah. <laughs> magic. And now you know 40k. The blah so, blah blah part was my favorite. So, so co cool artwork from the 80s, and now a bunch of lore. Okay. This is correct. In the first iteration of Warhammer 40k, it pictured two space marines doing a tango on the cover. God, I wish that was true. It pictured two that is true. Really? In the two, oh, it picked it two, two, uh, two space movies, Eiffel Tower in the Chaos School. Yes. For that. I like how that somehow shut everybody up. Because like, really I'm still trying to figure out the first one. Okay, let me see where I can go. I'm slowly getting Let's there. Let's make some opportunities. Wait, you you haven't seen fucking the two space marines fucking like Eiffel Towering the chaos. Uh, no, the dancing one, you twit. Oh, dance sick, dance sick with a C. You twit. <sighs> Just a minor setback. You gosh darn heck and moron. How Here's the thing for you. Yes. With your penis. Go, Abelard. Abelard's going upstairs to take care of business. Attention to detail is the key to success. I might explode. One fewer target. Fuck. Abelard, you better not be dead. Unexpected result. Good work, Avalon. I shall continue to do good work. Good boy. Hi, chats. Everyone's just kind of <gasps> chilling out and watching. Yeah, like the, the chat has been dead for like <laughs> at least 20 minutes more. <laughs> it's because this is the type of game everyone just kind of watches and relaxes. Yeah, this, this it's is also your late at night. Yeah, it, it's like sleep aid, like we, we might as well be doing ASM at this point. <laughs> Just Warhammer ASMR. Yeah. Gregorian Chants 24 Hours is a mandatory playlist. Gregorian Not Autistic Chants. <laughs> What's the difference? Well, one Good of them is from... Captain. One of them is Latin, the other one isn't. High Gothic is indeed Latin. What, so which one is high, high autism? Is that when they just talk about Sonic all the time? Uh, Mike, have you done no. any like looking into the no, abilities it, it, for it's operators? Only, it, it's only if they want a boyfriend-free girl, Yuri. Sorry, what were you saying, uh, Arch? Oh, that's why not burdened by retard. Um, I was asking if you looked into the abilities for an operator. Uh, no. So oh that's my God, Pascal's specialty. I'm, I'm just saying, like, okay, retard is a strong word. Her name is Purity, okay? For guy for PW Space Hulk game, dance steps. Oh my God, it's real. What the fuck? <laughs> Yep. That was for the Space Hulk addendum. Why can't they be that fun anymore? We used to have orcs whose special ability was to yell really loud and play guitars. Oh, I want that back. 
Yeah, but, but didn't, didn't somebody say so they, 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 that Warhammer, of all things, has to be woke? So they got rid of all the fun bits. I know they got rid of the fur thing because of PETA. The fun bits started disappearing in the 90s when we had the grunge rock and grimdark stupid era. Not that like that's I not said, my favorite part. Like I said, somebody decided to get woke. <laughs> and we it's not, that's not what woke bit. means. Go, fish wife. No, I, I'm just saying, like, we went from, like, like big boys having drive bites in space into now this. They're actually trying to make war crimes in this world. They, like, they're, they're, the big thing people have a hissy fit with, though, they're no, because there's no female space marines, even though we get battle sisters and other things. That's not good enough. Yeah, because it's always like, the weirdest bit, part about all that. It's not girls that are demanding it; it's guys. So we know your fetishes. Because like, <sighs> like they're, they're mad that 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 girls don't get uh, like surgically equipped with like two hearts and three lungs. Because that's what every girl wants, apparently. And, and subjected to multiple t trials of torture. Darkness. I know, well, that's what I want, Lord Captain. Someone purity just hit the ground. Win. I mean, if someone writes me a script, I'll do a joke ASMR video. But I need a script. Yeah, it'll cost you at least a two-dollar patron. God damn it! At least ten. Give me a break here. No. No. Listen here, you little heretic. I'm about to put you through the Emperor's mercy. See, he did that for free. So you have no excuse, Beardy. Or Sin, or Tia, or Black Gold of the Force with a thousand young. Have you ever had an Imperial Rosary up your butthole? Because Fine. you're about to. Hold on. One second, I have a puppy. <laughs> have, you, have, have you ever failed an anal circumference check? Hold on. All I'm saying is so many people made fun of Abelard for yelling at everybody. Nobody said shit about Argenta standing up and squatting ten times. <laughs> what the fuck is Argenta? The battle. Argenta's the white girl with the white hair. <laughs> I was gonna say, it had to be a little bit more. Not the blue girl with the white hair. The white girl with the white hair. Oh, that yeah. bitch. Listen here, you I, heretics. I Prepare either. to be destroyed. There, there's your freebie. Fuck off. No, that, that's not the freebie because I already did the freebie. You have to do the thing for two dollars. Well, someone gives The Lord $2. Captain. No, oh, it's mine. Jesus. I have a puppy the... climbing onto my lap. Fucking punted. Do you Close your door when you're puppy? screaming, bitch. The Lord Captain has deigned to step on your balls. It is no mandatory by the machine. What? What does it matter, honey bunny? It's testicles into the hammer hole. Is also considered a source of food. Don't eat my dog. Well, I mean, worse comes to worse. The worst only desire condemns you. <laughs> I like Pascal stepping around that barrel like it was going to be an impediment. <laughs> yeah, just like. Oh, let me just. Uh, I took care of this. I'm just twirl around here and uh, boom. <laughs> Like, like, if anything, like, if a skull has a, has a flare for uh, a flare. <laughs> Holy shit. 
What's up? Argenta, go and do something. You're a dumb dog. You're a dumb dog, but I love you. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Yeah, guys. so uh, so so Arch just literally just stared some stared at somebody so hot they fucking exploded and. Uh, yeah, they did. Navigators Mikey, are acceptable mutants. Mike is busy wanking, I think. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. I was Argenta. eating, but yes. Go sleepy, baby. No, I mean, I also shot a guy. I mean, homemade mayonnaise tastes better than store bought, I suppose. Shut up. I like how how Purity is the one who said shut up about that. I mean, yeah, she, she, she is uh, the black gold of the forest with a thousand young, but still. I've suffered worse. Did they yeah, you're Captain, not one of them. These assholes shot me. Shoot him back, Abelard. Understood, Lord Captain. You don't frighten me. Well, Lord Captain, down, someone shoot him your fishwife. Kill him twice. Nobody touches my wife. Especially my fishy one. Tech Priest, you'll be one too. Yeah, but... I, I'm sorry, I'm standing on the ladder, Mike. <laughs> Nobody touches my wife, not even Damn me. It. And he's a 46 right. health too, he's gonna be a fucking rough one. How are we supposed to save your ass when you're on the ladder? Yeah, I can't How really do anything, unfortunately. Just, if, uh... if, if, if only somebody had equipped a sniper rifle, there's that a dude doesn't matter, I don't have line of sight. No, I'm just saying in the party, maybe somebody with a sniper rifle would be able to. Oh, wait. Pascal yeah, we one. have people with a, with a sniper. There are many people with sniper rifles. There is only one Lord Captain who's currently staring at a trash can five miles from the battle. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming! Oh, my, I'm from the map. Yeah. You asshole, you started rifle. the fucking battle I was all the way back there. What the fuck do you expect me to do? I won't compromise my yeah, principles. The captain has said sniper rifle, but if we are needing... Your jobs are to fuck shit up and protect me. So do it! I like that she's been taking a casual stroll, like, checking out the <laughs> architecture. It is quite lovely. Oh, the infrastructure on this building is very poor. We can easily dismantle it by just removing this one brick. <laughs> God, it's power world all over again. Here we go, see. Abelard, kill the remaining riffraff. Well, I mean, at least power world is fun. But once you unlock the fucking penguin minigun. <laughs> Not a minigun, it's an RPG, I'm sorry. Why but it's still fun, especially if you get like... Reduced to dust! <laughs> Damn! Yeah, like if if you get like six of the penguins in you, in your party, and you just like five rockets, and the fucking thing is amazing. They I'm don't going do to as much fuck damage. you next. Also, uh, fucking um, you wanna hear an exploit in Paul Ward? Go for it. There's like um, there's a couple of uh, pal harnesses you can get that once you have them. If you have that pell in your party, it it goes out value. it goes outside and and like runs around with you. Yeah, I know it's kind of a pain in the ass when you're trying to catch yeah. something though. Yeah, yeah, it is, but it stacks, and then you can also release a pell that's not on that harness. So then you can actually have like four pells and just go fucking ham. <laughs> go get him, fish wife. Yeah, she's not going to be doing anything anytime soon. She's decided the ladder is her new favorite thing. No, she's trying not to die. <laughs> Can she get down? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, I love the climbing. The issue is the guy behind her is a 46 health fucking one of the mini bosses. Oh, fuck. Thanks for starting it with me all the way back there, by the way. He's not that bad. I'll get there Mr. eventually. Mr. Argenta. Remember the time. Mr. Argenta, could you actually hit something this time? I he don't sprayed somebody know. down. Alright, where can I aim? I know, I just like making that joke. 
Because I don't think I so fucking terrible with Argenta. I don't think I why he installed it. I literally can't hit anybody, Arch. Uh, you can Furious Recital and Run and Gun. Wait, did you actually make If you have them available. Uh, no, I do not have either of them. Well, Ugh. no, I don't have either of them available. Well, that sucks. Never mind. As you were. Yeah, if I had the Run and Gun, I would have used it. Oh, now you decide to come over there so somebody can shoot you. Oh, that motherfucker's coming down. Go freaking kill his ass. You can't touch Fishwife. Oh, now Argent has got a full turn. Spray him down. See if you can get that rapid fire. <laughs> or not. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it. No, cool I don't, no, I don't have the... I have the running gun. Like... If oh, this nice. game was cool, they would call it a golden shower and she'll just spray him down, but okay. What? This isn't, this isn't Postal what? 4. <laughs> what are you... Stop trying I to break just... Arch. I need him. No, you don't. I oh, kind of do. I, like, if there's less people on the list of inheritance, then you get more money. What fucking money? Also, I'm the oldest. I get all the money anyway. Yeah, but you're you're bad with the banishing money, so. Wow! Fuck you too, bud. I love you too, babe. I'm almost there. Holy shit! You can actually make a shot now. Yeah, you can actually watch your miss. I'll make it. Yeah, happen. the dude yeah, behind the building. <laughs> you Go miss. fuck yourself, Arch. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking great. I fucking hate you. Go, Abelard. Abelard is currently going. Kick his ass. Hello, oh, friend. Oh, oh, like, like, he, he stopped at the point that he just charged towards the nearest enemy. Well, like, he's a oh. rapid dog at this point, isn't he? <laughs> Hello, Argenta. Just, I shot a man. Arm. I shot a man. It was fun. Go, fishwife. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> you vomit right in his face. So, like, imagine being so ugly that just like looking at you, you fucking take physical damage. <laughs> she has a third eye that is attached My to the heart wall. Still beats. I mean, she's getting apparently that didn't mean that, shit. That doesn't dis dis dispute my f fucking initial comment. She's ugly as fuck and that makes people take physical damage. I'm almost there, everybody. Lord Captain, this heretic has insulted your fishwife. You know what to do to her. Him. It. Whatever it is. I am a strong, independent lesbian. I will take none of your shit. The Lord Captain would like to invite you to a dinner out Airlock 7. <laughs> That's right. That's He's not even good enough for Airlock 6. Attendance is compulsory. Uniform is casual. I do like make to make sure to wear those. sandals. Too bad I'm chilling in Airlock 8, bitch. On it. <clears throat> Fuck you. I'm Listen here, here Roy. Did <laughs> you point at somebody and set them on fire? Yes. I can do that now. I think I can also do the, the lightning thing. I just remembered that. She learned that trick exclusively to light her cigarettes. <laughs> just snap my finger and it lights. Isn't that a thing in fucking Bioshock? I think so. I was thinking more of like uh, Star Trek, but that's me. How am I the weeb here? 
I mean, I'll be honest, like, I've seen, like, two Timmy's with him. Arctic, so I, I wouldn't know. Oh, that sounds terrible. YouTube is starting to do vertical live streaming from cell phones. That sounds awful. Oh, that that's just fucking nasty. Like, they tried to do the 360 thing and it, and it fucking failed, and now they're doing that. Can, can you don't? Hey, Dad. For all Excellent work, life jobs. No, but like, to be Finally, real, good YouTube, job, everybody. That, like, to be this real, time, can real. we make sure I'm not right the fuck back all the way when we fight? Thank you, everybody. <laughs> The Lord Captain was enjoying a leisurely walk and strawberries. They were very good strawberries. Very large I and mean, luscious. They, they were powdered with cocoa, so yeah. <laughs> that was perfect timing of Fishwife going Nothing's impossible for this old officer. Oh, Avalard, <laughs> you're not that old. Well, fucking somebody clipped that. <laughs> Holy shit, there's a ton more enemies. The anti-aircraft battery's control panel has a panoply of mysterious levers and buttons. Deactivating it quickly is not an option. All you can do is blow it up, destroying it completely. So, would you like to use Pascal's tech use, Argenta's demolition, or just walk away and say fuck it? Uh, addendum, Lord Captain, this is the gun that shot at us as we tried to land. Go, Jack Priest, do your thing. The anti-aircraft battery certainly was constructed a long time ago, before the colonization of this world began. It comes as no surprise that the insurgents were barely able to operate it. Modern arms protocols are incomprehensible to the machine spirits of such an ancient construction. Gained 28 experience, and told you that this is a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> I thought you don't bitch about technology. That's not Pascal's voice. Make it go boom. Argenta, could you come here and blow this the fuck up? I have to come over and order you. God damn it, I was just about to get more strawberries. Well, I mean, technically, this is a cutscene, so yeah. Oh, fort, bitch. Lord Captain has requested to press the goddamn button. <laughs> The blast consumes the ancient weapon. The sky above the city is safe for flying again. This means we can return to our ship if we would like, but also, we're right here next to the capital, so we should probably stab some people. <laughs> is everyone okay with continuing? Oh, God. <laughs> stab. I mean, people. I'm fine with whatever, so yeah. I'm cool with it. Okay. Just wanted to make sure nobody was tired. I'm, I'm sorry, on, I'm hopped up on sugar. I ain't going anywhere for a while. I'm gonna regret this tomorrow. If you want to, Mike, I'll give you over some of the voices. I've just been kind of enjoying. Fate and fortune oh, favor I don't the care. bold. I get to. I always my keep my options open. Lord Captain, Drunk there are more people who shoot. Follow Hold me, on. Lord Captain, and we will find people to murder. I always have a backup plan. Yeah, Straight down these stairs. Avalod. Thank you, Avalod. You've learned not to leave me behind. Bitch, where are you? Avalod, I Head this you way, Lord Captain. Good. Keep your wits Towards about you. the end there. I'll make there are an people example who look startlingly brown. Seems like we should shoot them. Avalod, not because they're brown, understand? Oh, sorry. That's that's gonna get caught. Yeah, that's gonna get us nailed, man. That, that that's gonna get caught. Holy shit! I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it's okay. Arch is black as night. We're fine. Sorry if I shoot you in the butt. Mr. Argenta, I will be very disappointed if you put a bolter shell in my butthole. Okay, we missed. 
I mean, you just have to roll for your anal circumference chick, you know? No one is playing fatal, you fucking goblin. Well, not with that attitude anyway. <laughs> Rookies! Oh! Ah. I grazed your butthole, I'm sorry. See, he says that, but he still did it to me in the fucking uh, campaign with it. But yeah, I, you weren't there for that, but like fucking, eh, yeah, fucking Mike ripped my anus off my character in D&D. Wouldn't be the first time he's done it to somebody. Uh, well. uh, There's an in a spell Hopefully in everybody campaign, watching too. is enjoying. Hopefully you guys all chilling out with us are enjoying. Yeah. I gotta go and make sure I put the right uh, shields me. Right yeah, everybody enjoys listening to us like talk about the mic within my anus hole. Look, you those th those things, things get done independently of me. I don't force anything upon you. Yeah, you fucking forced it on me within the Spade Weaver campaign, dude. What happened? You literally ripped my anus open and made me bleed out of it. I don't remember this. Oh, yeah, I do. You, 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 I you tried to what hide it. Talking about you did that one to yourself, bro. He told I you know, to write down the saying, worst like, thing ever, and you did it. Like, like I was just the catalyst. Mike was the one who fucking enforced it. Yeah. Oh know. yeah. Wasn't that your world? Wasn't that your your biggest fear? It yes. Was the worst thing you could think of happening to him. Okay, exactly. yeah. No. In a now room I full of magic, and then you just decided to, like, rip my ass. Yep, Not in the good way. Because that's, uh, that's how this works. <laughs> it could do worse. Jesus oh Christ, God. I'm sorry. Why the fuck did you shoot this dude, like, five times in the back? Because <laughs> he was in the way. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, dude, this dude is in the way, so I'm just gonna shoot him in the face. Okay. Mr. Argenta, may I have a word with you? No. <laughs> no. Fuck off. I'm it's busy. got four letters, and it's going to involve a boot kick to that place. <laughs> oh, wait, wasn't the whole thing with him trying to insult Argenta every time we scream? Yes. I, I did so. refer to her as a shoeless savage on more than one occasion. <laughs> She's proving Oh, that's correct. gonna get caught. It's okay, she's white. Where's Pascal? There. I mean, that that makes it even worse. <laughs> I mean, the, uh, well, they're supposed to not wear shoes, so. I mean, like, I don't give a shit, like, it, it's your monetization, so go for it, bitch. What monetization? We lost that all. We're not getting that back. <sighs> We're getting yellow to the end of time. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, fucking, we, we might as well just, sort of, like, uh, turn it into a fucking music channel at this point. <laughs> Just a cappella racism, let's go. No, please don't start the racism. <laughs> you you had your chance, you oh, missed it Oh god! Hey, you you got one got smacked in the face. Kiwi, go to sleep. By that dude. And yet he had, he still only took like two hits of damage. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, if you're tired, that's that's fine. I'm just yawning. But you know, you just just so you know, there's no rest for the wicked. I will fucking shoot you myself, it's Mocha. It's as good as done. No, like Your you serve the inevitable. emperor until you die, and there's nothing in between. There's Should no you fail in this accomplishment, you. then that is on you. I refuse. How the my fuck can you not see him? It's a bad idea. Plus you're oh in, 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 in front of a giant fucking block. Yeah, well, I've got to protect myself, because if I die, we're screwed. Yes, the heir to the Space Donald's fortune is a very <laughs> precious thing. I love that we've made that cannon, and I'm sad we couldn't. I, we didn't think of that when we were naming the ship. <laughs> the ship is now called <laughs> the SS Space Donald's. Uh, Avalar, do you yeah. want to dress up like the annoying clown? See, the worst part about that uh, entire thing is dust. that like, yeah, the pilot is called Elon. I want Lord somebody to... 
I really want someone to draw Space Donald so badly. The sound of my squeaky <laughs> shoes will strike fear into our enemies. Like, I, I, I don't understand why like, you're saying <laughs> Space Donald. Like, the name like is McDonald's put in space, that's the joke. Yeah, I understand it, but like, Space Donald is like just Howard the Duck. Which, if, I'm gonna if kick you, you out of the call in a minute, Moko. Like, if you think about it, Howard the Duck is literally the first <laughs> basic kind of movie ever made. Everyone say goodnight to Moko. No. Be gone! Oh, there we he go. He did. But yeah, fucking uh, Hobbit the dog is literally the first isekai Rise movie to ever made. Or get left in the dust. Now there have been others. Yeah, not, n no, not, not where, where, where like the main characters were ripped from his world into another world. What about Masters that... of the Universe and um, Beast Beast? Uh, fuck, what was it called? Beastmaster? Yeah. Fun fact, Lord Captain. Yeah, but... My cousin is He-Man. That explains a lot, actually, Abelard. But those came after Howard the Duck, though. Oh, did it? Was... Yeah, like, like from, <coughs> from 86 and it must have used Success like is the only outcome I accept. Abelard, new but, sword. Those Fuck four, yes. like, Howard the Duck is the first Isekai film ever made. Someone kill this man. Uh, Abelard, push him off. No, don't push him. Kick him. I wish it gave me the... Can you? Enable the mighty boot. Who, no. if not me? <laughs> oh my god! You <laughs> <laughs> wow. I didn't know you could do that. Mighty boot enabled. Lord Captain, oh, you are the Lord, you are the rogue trader von Valencius. You may shoot anyone you please. Why bother using guns when I can just yell at them? Well, also that. So we oh can either my jump God, down. That's a smurf. We can either jump down here, go to the other side, and use a door like a proper person, or head on to the capital and be yelled at by a fat man. What's down there? Let us not dawdle. Uh, more heretics to stab, Lord Captain. Well, All mean, right, if, folks, if, are you in are... the mood to stab some more, or shall we go get? So we go yell at a fat man. I was say, like, if you want to yell at a fat man, just talk to Mike for like two seconds. Oh, don't be mean to Mike. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Leave Sister Argenta alone, you piece of shit. No. <laughs> All those rippling buns and thighs. I will. Right, I will personally fill those skills with all my semen. Why are we doing his stop. fucking work? He should be the one killing these people. I always keep well, my options open. Lord Captain, he's a pile of dog shit. Well then, let's go take care of him and take the planet for ourselves. And I mean, I have Very a well, name. Lord Captain, okay. this way. I'm coming. <laughs> always keep your eye on the prize. I saw a treasure box. Good eye. Good boy. Let's go and stab people, Lord Captain. Absolutely, let me say it first. I believe there might be another battle along the way, or we can yell at peasants. I'm good with either. Apparently my yelling kills them, because I'm just that good. Why is this fucking dog not sleeping? Perhaps it is excitement over the new Space McRib coming back. Oh, don't let him hear about the McRib, the Space Rib. We'll never get him to go to sleep at that point. At this point, are we just doing this entire game in character? <laughs> I'm not opposed to it, just making sure. I'm sticking to the bit. I'm fine with it. It's letting me practice with my voice. If I fall out of the bit, it's just because my throat started to, stop, uh, started to hurt. 
Okay, there we go. Press the any key to continue, Lord Captain. I do not what? see an any key. Damn it, you beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> that payback for earlier? Straight ahead are peasants. Is there money to be made? Peasants, come on out. Thank you, everybody. Some ten people, children among them, are huddling together in fear. You see that half of them have black holes where their eyes used to be. Some maintain a gloomy silence, others are wailing. Several armed insurgents are carefully watching over the terrified hostages, snapping every now and then at someone for shaking too much or crying too loudly. Oh my god, do you people not even know how to hold hostages properly? Come to your senses, Arlid. Look what you're doing to your own family. Oh, that's a woman. Uh-oh. It's a very, very testosterone-filled <laughs> woman. A woman of about 60, gray-haired, but still strong, is kneeling before a stocky man with a thick, pure white beard, stretching her arms toward him. Take pity on us. Let us go. Lord Captain, I will not do all of the voices. Somebody else who wants to be an old man. Mike, you're usually an old man. Take it. Okay, hang on. Stop talking and embrace redemption! Our children have gained true sight while you still believe the lie. Get off my lawn! Lord Upon Captain, I believe he's you, crazy. Man. The man points his weapon at you. Other insurgents do the same. Who are you and why are you here? Lord Captain, I believe they're crazy. There are no lawns anywhere nearby. No, you tell me who are you and what are you doing to, the, uh, to these unfortunates? Do they not know the Space River's coming? My god. I'm the chief! My former name, Arald, is meaningless now. I am a father leading his family to deliverance from woes to salvation. Aurora has opened my eyes to the truth and my children will see it! Lord Captain, right. this is a very funny joke because he has no eyes. Oh, yes, Abelard. I see. Harold! Oh, go ahead. Harold, spare us! Spare your children! His mind and soul are pierced by shards of a colorful deception, hues once twisted by despair, and the immaterium's influence can never be the same again. Pascal's voice, Vox, hisses furiously. Lay person. Cognition is not your primary function, you stupid bitch. You are saving your kin by holding them at gunpoint and believe that burning their eyes out will grant them sight. It is evident that the author of the demagogic teaching that confused you meant to make a mockery of your deplorable intellect, you fucking tart. <laughs> Abelard's face turns a deep red. To cast down your own children into the thrall of heresy. To drown your progeny in this filth with your own hands. Excuse me while I put on my shit stomping boots again. Looking Pascal oh, is the can't do that, right. ever. Like Pascal is the most realist dude fucking ever. Holy Ooh, shit. logic. Let's try for logic. You've done you have been torturing your own family in order to save them? You have been blinding them so that they could see the truth. At you, Mike. Oh, sorry. Those who lack faith cannot grasp the truth and will not be saved. The old man is obstinate, obstinate, but you sense that the confidence in his voice is diminished. Can I save? Oh, you tit. We must finish the conversation before we save Lord Captain. 
Aurora, whoever that is, has exploited your naivety. Can't you see you are causing nothing but suffering? Yes! So, so basically he's a Mormon. Your turn, Mike. But all I wanted was to save... The man uh, drops his weapon and covers his face with his hands in desperation. You hear several short sobs. You can, in fact, save money at Space Donald's with their affordable meals. We'll give you all coupons. <laughs> They're in Braille. You'll be just fine. <laughs> There's no way in the blood from your hands. But you could at least let us go, Harold. The ones you haven't mutilated yet. The old man gestures to the other insurgents who lower their weapons. He then shifts his gaze to you, trying to hold back tears. What happens to us now? So, Iconoclast Mango. is friendly, Dogmatic is religious. We've primarily been heretic and Iconoclast thus far. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. The hostages have begin to leave, and soon the group disappears around one of the bends. The old man looks away from them and walks in the opposite direction. His shoulders shake with sobs every now and then. Don't let the door hit you where the good emperor split you. Now go I and give them their poop. coupons. I got a poop! <laughs> You're blind well, now. Well, Captain, I do not believe we should give him one because he will simply yeah. use it to poop upon. Also, Love we have leveled up. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. So this alters your heroic ability, whichever one you choose here. Ooh, that might be good. What what was me what was good for me to use again? For me to upgrade in? Lore, so, right? Yeah. If you hold over it, you'll be able to see like who is the most skilled in that particular subject. And if you're like ahead of the pack or even with somebody, absolutely take it. You were saying like uh, uh, Lore Imperium Lore Cenos or Lore Warp. All of these are super fucking good, but I'm going to go with the Daring Breach, uh, adding 10 movement points until the end of my turn. Ah, oh, fuck. Actually, no, 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 because I'll get uh, four movement per each, and I get to keep them. Go the fuck to sleep or you go back in your cage. I can see you staring at me in the dark. It's creepy. I'm not turning on Persona 3 just so you'll go to sleep. For the undefeated, Beauty is talking to her dog, not her manslave. <laughs> yes, I call my manslave a dog. It's Yo. also Kisa, for some reason. So, you... Fishwife got upgraded. Her extra turn now gives whoever is getting the extra turn. Uh, plus one movement point and action point for every kill they commit on their turn. Alright, let's go yell at the fat man. This ocular implant was a worthwhile Indeed. investment. Uh, this is intriguing. What the heck? <laughs> Sorry, Avalon. Right through it. <laughs> Sorry, Avalon. Very much appreciated, Experience. Lord Captain. <laughs> Nothing matters more. The fuck, you jackass. I keep forgetting the pause means you're dawdle. about to walk into something stupid. Your efforts are always appreciated. However, maybe don't kill me. You'll be fine, Avalon. It was just a scratch. Over here. Always keep your eye on the prize. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. This away, Lord Captain. I'm going in. Through the gates and to the fat man. Shall we call him fat? We should not give him any coupons. He needs a diet. Give him I all the one, coupons. I for one applaud a man who sits on top of a pile of nuclear missiles. 
for his command center. Seems like a very cognizant and rational decision. Ah, well, should we set them all? Not while we're in there, Lord Captain. <laughs> I mean, when we're out of there, Abelard. Oh my god, you were serious. That's a lot of warheads. Peace talking to me, you fucking fiendish little peasants. I will not. The fat man in the back is your target, Lord Captain. Governor. Don't attack my The tall, dark-skinned man walks toward you and greets you in the curt military manner. Would like to be Governor Medina. I can always take on more. Nobody else wants it. I, I don't know who Governor Medina is. <laughs> Faisal Ricardi. Ab Medina of Coronas, governor of the star system. Welcome to my temporary headquarters. Oh, great, you're Russian. That explains the warheads. That explains why all the men are dying everywhere. The <laughs> man's gaze falls <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> it, 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 it is a five-step plan and it will work. <laughs> I'm sorry. Size, <laughs> slightly narrow. We're Syrian. <laughs> <laughs> Abelard nods dryly. Oh, Governor Medina, my greetings. I've not seen you since the last time I kicked you in the dick. <laughs> Abelard, how many people do you kick? What? <laughs> Is anyone else see the, the I like the that man jamming in the background. He's clearly listening to Darud Sandstorm. <laughs> <laughs> this man knows the jams. <sighs> Lord Captain, permission to go hang out with that guy. <laughs> permission granted. We're all going to hang like, out with that it, guy. I don't know what it is you're doing, but like, why do you break games so fucking frequently? <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Look, I got a new computer thinking it would fix it, and it hasn't. Look, and I wish I could kiss you, but holy shit. The governor's expression changes drastically when he sees Cassia. Lady Navigator. What an honor. I never thought that House Rosselio would grace our world with such a visit. I only wish I could have received you under different circumstances. Fishwife is mine. Eyes over here. Cassia purses her lips, and an echo of grief knocks the wind out of, these pre out of those present. House Rosselio is grateful for the support that you have provided to Iraq V these many years. Thank you. No joke. I, know I, thought that said, I know that said. I, I, I thought that said Otello. Like, how's Otello? Like, wait, what? Are we going I'm Shakespeare not in seeing this the bit? I'd sent to meet you. What happened? Did they fail to find an escort to you? If that is so, I promise you their punishment will be swift and severe. What a ca curious exchange of pleasantries. Is there some kind of discord between you and Abelard? Yo, what the fuck do you have a problem with my manslave for? No, of course not. Be nice to him, he has his shit-kicking boots on. I do, in fact, have my shit-kicking boots on, Lord Captain. <laughs> An old there. misunderstanding. Over a century old by now, it isn't worth your time, Lord Captain. I think I fucked his daughter. <laughs> can, can somebody just, like, fucking clip that, like... Zoom in on the on the dude fucking just wiping as hell. Oh, I can. Like, Hold on. Yes. I'm trying. I can't get the camera to move to him. <laughs> oh, he's fucking vibing hard. Holy shit. <laughs> he's just sitting back there fucking absolutely aced out of his mind. <laughs> you know, what, the, the, the best part is, like, he looks like one of the mages in fucking Magica. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Look at him go. He's going. Yeah. Uh, we need to force Mike to play that game, by the way. That is an outrage. I will have the personal vetting procedure changed immediately. The slightest suspicion will be grounds for arrest. Why is your man losing his shit back there? We did a lot of, like, ether before you arrived, and, uh, to be honest, I'm still off my tits. Your ladyship, before we proceed, with discussing the matters that are of interest to you, there is a question I feel compelled to ask. It was only until recently that Lady Theodora was the head of Von Valencius. 
I have received no word of her demise. How is it that you are now the rogue traitor? You must suck a mean dick. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. I became a, a manager at Space Donald. Holy shit. Exactly. Like, have you seen this I heard the Mick Space Rib was back. It is, and we have coupons for everybody. <laughs> Except that dude over there that's losing it. I have a large handsome and expired space <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> you know why. <laughs> My esteemed predecessor died at the hands of cultists. May the Emperor in incinerate their souls. The governor frowns, and a deep shadow falls across his face. Rogue trader von Valencius, slain. Unthinkable. Please accept my deepest and most sincere condolences, your ladyship. Do not hesitate to let me know how I might be of help. Let's see, I realize that you and your, you yourselves in a diff difficult situation. It's my fucking money. I need a fresh crew to replace those killed. Fucking give me people. Woo! <laughs> This was in your station, in your system. You are responsible, you cunt. The oh, governor bows really? his head in acceptance. Of course, your ladyship. You will be compensated for any losses, and I'll see to it personally that your ship's holds are filled with the finest goods from my personal reserves. Gained 28 experience and profit factor gained two. We are richer than a motherfucker. Abelard <laughs> nods his head <laughs> approval. <laughs> remarks that quietly. Excellent, your ladyship. A rogue trader has no use for leniency. Perhaps sorry. maybe we could also kick him in the dick? Shall we trade our toaster fucker for the one that's just losing it over there? Like, 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 I know what's like actually he... happening. Look, he's stuck on the chair. Uh, like, Let's go. Like he, he, he looks like he wants to leave, but the... The spirit machine compels him to go back to work, and he's struggling to fucking fight it. Pascal, do you know what kind of space drugs that man is using? Yes. <laughs> Don't worry, I have my own supply. Perfect, we're going to need it after this. Have you ever heard of EDM? I warned you about smoking space stones, but you still did it, you know. Hey, Sarifer. I can offer you several thousand fine, obedient servants. However, I am sad to inform you I will not be able to do it until after we dealt with the insurgency on the planet. I'm sure you won't have to wait long. The rebel will soon be duly punished for their heretical scheming. You know, they, 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 they surrounded the capital for a little while, but then I, I made an airplane go down and... No. And that's gonna get cut. You think I'm gonna cut shit? Are you so confident that you will crush the insurrection soon? My own impression? Okay, I can just be a complete dick. Wish to command the courage of one of your officers, Sergeant. He's a soldier. That's Lord Captain, crazy. we are here for... Uh, the Von Kahlo interrogator. Perhaps we should ask the fat man. Which one? Uh, negative Bro, case. it's oh. late. Which number? What? Number I'm four. Not okay. Thank you. Oh, the shit is here. Yeah, the governor here. lowers his voice. I <laughs> do. Master Von Kahlo has left for the hold electrodynamic Cenobium. It is an ancient monastery of the Adeptus Mechanicus. I do not know what his objectives are. Needless to say, insurgent activity has been observed in the monastery's vicinity. But I suppose it's too petty of a problem for the agent of the Most Holy Inquisition. Besides, I've already sent a small detachment of reinforcements there. Get down your you knees know, like, and beg and I will go and do it. I sent like three guys and a stick. I'm sure it's fine. Then what the insurgents were using to shoot down shuttles over the city has been destroyed. Now, <laughs> Abelard's like, yes, that was us, you shit dick. <laughs> no, nothing is preventing you from returning to your ship. If you wish to find Master Von Kahlo, you should go to the Cenobium of the Adeptus Mechanicus. You know, just... the fuck off. So just say that you're useless and we'll go and do it. 
No, it's an anxiety <laughs> creep into the voice that rattles from Pascal's vox. On behalf of the priesthood of Mars, I, Megos Hanuman, am officially initiating my participation in this operation. I must inspect the state of the relic and assure myself that it is under zero risk of falling into heretic hands. I am told it is a massive vibrator. <laughs> like that guy over there. I think it might be in that guy. <laughs> According... <laughs> Okay. These late night streams were a mistake, man. According to the catechism of maintenance operation, my tech comrades were supposed to lock the monastery gates against the lay people and activate the traps. I deem it optimal that an ordained mago shall provide his assistance. Like, I, I don't know how, but you somehow managed to create Ram Ranch in 40k. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> I categorically object. The governor clenches his fist. As much as I respect the sanctity of your monastery, I have on my hands a whole capital that needs to be attended by the Omnissiah's servants. We have lost many eminent tech priests. Incidentally, one of them perished in the same monastery. Mechanical failures could occur at any moment. Putting it bluntly, you may consider yourself forcibly recruited into the city's defense forces. Medina and Pascal glare at each other, their unyielding gazes like crossed swords. Lord Captain, just throw a little Deborah cake over to the side and we'll be able to leave without him noticing. <laughs> this Magos is part of my re retinue? Retinue. You have no right to give him orders. He is you my bitch. bitch. You mistake me for a fool. I know he arrives separately from you, and I would bet my life that no... The governor's voice dies down in a low growl of a drilling mechadendrite. Its tip is directed straight at the bridge of his nose. Medimna clears his throat and grubbles stubbornly. So this negotiation technique you've resorted to, do you think this is the first time I've been threatened with a weapon? It's not my I'm... birthday. I am hard as a rock right now. <laughs> I'm also a psyker. I can make it really pleasurable. Yeesh. <laughs> no. Going. He's just fucking walking. He's it's walking. <laughs> no, but this could be your last. Pascal's voice is akin to the sound produced by his drilling implement. Steady and calm, but ready to explode at a moment's notice with the crunching of bone and the squelching of tearing flesh. I am heading to the monastery because I must. Is that clear, fat boy? <laughs> so, so ready, ready to explore as well as normal, so it's like me masturbating. Okay. The governor mutters through gritted teeth. Abundantly so, Megos. Why are you sort of Okay. Who the fuck is Magus? It would be my pleasure In to assist the Omnissiah servant to reaching the sanctum. Because you're obviously useless, you fat tub of lard. Magos is a standard operating name for a priest of the Adeptus Mechanicus. You fucking plebeian. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation, your ladyship. The drill stops. Were you about to drill into me? No, the fat man. Oh, okay. As compensation for your consideration of my request, I, Megos Hanuman, officially undertake to accompany you to the RICAD system in the role of bodyguard and protect you at all costs until your life functions cease, but only within the limits of the RICAD system. I have a warrant, you see. You have a warranty, perfect. Oh, yes, that's what I said, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Your Hanuman. Hm. Glad you're alive. The governor raises his eyebrows and stares at the tech priest in surprise, but refrains from further commentary. I was perplexed you about my companion's name. I want to get the fuck out of here already. The governor looks at Pascal with, with curiosity. According to the reports we received, Logos Abel Hanuman set off her howled electrodynamic synobium a short while before it was stormed. I'm glad to find out that you're safe. Perhaps you possess information on Master Van Kalox. 
Can I just interject real quick? I am Go. fairly certain that, that, that Hanuman is like an Indian god, to be honest. He was like, like, like a, a fucking four-armed monkey or some shit. Pascal's Vox rasps in confusion. My name is Pascal Hanuman. Not able. I know nothing about such a person. I see. Are you saying that we seem to look all alike, you racist? He's a machinist, actually. Not the point. Governor Medina. I intend to gather further information on the person calling himself Abel Hanuman. I do not exclude the possibility of it being an alias of my mentor, the Archmagus Armanat. He would have suggested that you inspect the esteemed Lodges' sanctum, but it was uh, destroyed by rebels. We recovered several data crypts and connected them to the cogitators in the command post. They might provide you with some information. Thank you. I'm gonna go check <laughs> out the man dancing like a lunatic. Hilariously, right. you failed a quest. Did I? <laughs> Yeah, you got bored and failed the quest. You didn't find out what the fuck's going on. Should I go reload? Well, fucking like. Doesn't matter. We can go. What, what this dude is wiping hard. Can as I fuck can't? Up. Can I just ask him again? No, but you can shoot him. Greetings, your ladyship. Can I just can can I get the quest to finish if I do this? Mm -hmm. I never interrupted it myself. I didn't tell him to fuck off before I found what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where is a traitor? Why, any family, however noble, has an unworthy scion or two. Naturally, we will surrender him should we find him within my jurisdiction. Unfortunately, I have no information regarding his location. However, the governor pauses to think. Don't make me get Abelard involved. Oh, shit. No, thank you. We have a cogitator here at the command center. It's connected to the data crypt from Logis Able Sanctum. It is aggregated all the Lex Mechanic reports. Unfortunately, the access prayer for it is unknown to me. If you manage to convince the stubborn machine, you might learn something about Conrad's movements. I'd hazard he'd fled you on a ship, not on a pair of wings. I wish to... I wish to commend the courage of one of your officers, Sergeant Malgar. He and his soldiers valiantly defended the starport. That was the dude that we met when we landed the... Yeah, I know. All right, governor. That dude. The sergeant who managed to impress a person of such noble standing will be recommended for decoration. I wish to discuss the insurgency on the planet. What the fuck is going on? Oh, God, there's more. As you wish, the governor replies wearily. Riders are too well organized, too well informed, too well armed. These are signs of indoctrination into heretical beliefs. They are clearly being directed by someone competent and charismatic. Governor, you are dealing with an arch enemy cult that is growing at an alarming weight. Great. Yes, I know. They opened up a space Wendy's recently. We will kill oh, them all yeah. and burn it. Governor Medina hesitates before answering, his face slowly turning purple with anger. Your ladyship, he grits out through his teeth. I know who you are. I've heard of your exploits, and I will not allow a stranger, let alone another rogue traitor, to speak to me in such a manner and make demands of a subject of his lordship, Galagos Winterscale. He takes a breath and continues in a calmer tone. The matter is closed. Let us speak no more of it. Look, not my fault if you blow this fucking planet up. The insurgents are headed for... Headed by a certain Aurora, a prophet who, according to their followers, possesses mystical powers. The rebels' usual superstitions. I'm sure this Aurora is a charlatan, muttering some doggerel which their dim followers think to be magic spells. This does, of course, warrant their eventual burning in the forest of penance. But it does not point to there being anything special about this insurgency. Scores of crazy people with scorched eyes are stalking the city. 
the insurgents are killing or maiming their own? Good. Maybe they cut off the dick too. <laughs> the insurgents talk of final dawn, impending demise of the world. Yet another superstition. Surely you don't expect me to believe in it. I can see that it is not in my power to convince us. Let's see, if we do that, is there more choices? This is the fuck off option. This is where Medina tells you to fuck off, and that's about it. Okay. That's all I wanted to discuss, you fucking loser. Lord Captain, let's leave this fat boy to his own devices. Here's a cupcake, pumpkin. Go enjoy. That man is still grooving. Let's see if he wants to talk. Hi, how you doing? Lord, Lord Captain, I am disappointed you did not give him a Space Donald's apple pie. He is not good enough to have a Space Donald's apple pie. Are you kidding me? He can have his... Ugh. Space Endies. Mc... Uh, fucking Frost. I can't... I can't... The Lactendies. <laughs> the Lactendies. There you go. He can have the Lactendies. A star frosty? What would you call it? I'm trying to think of that. Frost oh, fucking... lotion. All right, Lord Captain. Our choices here are to go downstairs and confront a cult and beat someone's ass, or to continue on to a nuclear facility and beat someone's ass. Well, what would the rest of the crew like to do? All right, I will say this. I, I, I've already played through this section, so don't worry about me, but I am going to bow out. I am going to sleep. Night, night. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow probably sometime. All right, why did we end up back on the space thingy? Because the game is a little retarded at times. <laughs> Should we go to Rykan Minoris? Rykad Minoris was the planet we were on, Lord Captain, and is in fact the planet we must continue on. Space we could go to... or... Electrodium Keno Kenobium. The two places to go, Lord Captain, would be the bunker to continue and stab that cultist in the face, or to the Electrodynamic Cenobium, upon which we will continue the story. Sna stab someone in the face, obviously. They go a little lucky, uh, like, but I'll probably get sleep. I was about to say, like, I don't want to be a party killer, but I'm also... A go sleep. Just... It's okay. Yeah. So, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. This was fun. Bye. There we Bye. go. So, out of the two choices, choose the left one that exits to the upper way. You chose the exit to the void ship last time. Sorry. I didn't realize Not a problem. Too. There's some dude, there was some chick up on the rafter just worshipping. Hell yeah. You gotta praise the missile. Lord Captain, that guy can eat a fat dick. Yes, and he probably enjoy it too, let's be real. Lead the way. Yeah, but it'd All probably right. go after this fight. Is there also money me. to be made? But next time you're off, we should play more. Start a little earlier. Is it down here? Uh, I'm looking My for it on the map. Reveals something. We've Ooh, been finding good. loot. Yeah. I'm uh, scouring the map for goodies right now, and then we'll head on to the next area where we stab a bunch of people. Okay. Yeah, after that, I'll probably call it, but definitely next time you're off, give me an I'm so we can play more. It'll I be just always you and keep me. my options open. Oh, yeah? Yeah, just you and me. And the stream, obviously. Uh oh. What did you walk into? 
I didn't do anything. I don't believe you, Abelard. What did you do? I did nothing, Lord Captain. Abelard, Simply I... a matter of punching people in the dick. Why is it... I always have a backup plan. Because there are a shitload of traps. Operation successful. I better myself through my service. Duty prevails. Just as I planned. Was there a point of doing... coming over here? Experience points, and killing something, and also a thing. Keep your oh, wits you get about you. points for disarming, don't you? Correct. God, I wish more games did that. It'd be fucking nice if Baldur's Gate did that. To the next section, Lord Captain. I'm here. We must go downstairs and stab a bunch of cultists. Stabby, stabby, stabby! Do you remember the bullshit lenses that we dealt with on Rykad Minoris? A Rykad oh, Philia. For the love of God, they're back. There is at least one. Well, you could troll everyone. It should go relatively quickly. I am getting tired, sorry. Not to worry. I have to get up at seven to feed the pets. So the best way to go is this Over way. Over there. No. My or you ears can do are that. This Always keep impact. your eye on the prize. You want pause before I can tell him not to run. Oh, sorry. Next time, All just right. tell me to unpause. Are we getting stuck on the, uh... Is there money to be made? Oh, this is jankification. So, uh, ladder is not this game's thing. Not really. Who knew I've so how much years of video games? Ladders are still the, the problem. The god grants me insight. Rise to the top, or what get left the in the god dust. Tell it tells me that ones and zeros are sexy. Oh lord. Excuse me, Lord Captain. I must defragment myself. Do you want me to go through the... You can do it, yeah. Uh. Sector, Coronis Expanse. Region, Rykad System. Location, streets in the vicinity of Rykad Manoa Starport. Material, report based on oral accounts and picked recordings added to the archives of House von Valencius by the Order of Seneschal Wasserian. On her journey across a world caught in the throes of heretical insurgency, the Lord Captain accidentally witnessed an unholy rite that transpired in one of the maintenance rooms of an aqueduct. This abandoned nook turned out to be a heretic's gathering place for performing the grim and profane acts. The large group of rebels stood frozen in patient anticipation, all staring into the center of the room. No one moved. Only the murmur of the hushed voices echoed against the metal walls. The Lord Captain ran a cursory glance over the room, assessing the situation. The rebels were unremarkable in appearance. They were dressed in the shabby clothes of the abject rabble, spoke in the coarse voices, and had repulsive faces. They are uggos. But what caught the Lord Captain's attention was the look of the strange, almost sinister anticipation in their eyes. This was no gathering of loud blasphemers aboard idlers. Only occasionally would they exchange brief, unintelligible remarks. As they stood in a frozen circle, their gazes turned towards the hulking structure in the center of the room. Bulky transformers, cogitators, crates, and voxcasters took up most of the space. Against their background, the structure in the center stood out oddly, an enormous lens mounted on stand. 
It caught the thin sunbeams that made their way through the slits in the ceiling and crossed the half-lit room. The Lord Captain peered into the darkness, enveloping the room, or the Lord Captain recognized the structure the arch-enemy corrupted warden on Rykad Philia used. I'm going to try the awareness. Yeah. Although barely visible behind the closed ranks of the insurgents, the rusted barrels with evidently flammable contents had not escaped the Lord Captain's keen eye. One good shot at those barrels would decimate the number of heretics on Rykad Minoris. The Lord Captain patiently observed what happened next. As if commanded by some grim, unseen force, the insurgents fell silent at once. In a single movement parted, a thick, sticky silence filled, sticky, ugh, filled the room. <laughs> the heretic's gazes were turned toward a metal structure with a lens on top of it, standing tall in the middle of a circle of melting candles, piles of books, and unholy symbols drawn on the floor. The structures flashed in a single sunray, illuminated it. Continue. A sound of bare feet broke the sinister silence as a man emerged from the deep shadows. Reeling, he entered the circle and collapsed on his knees in front of the enormous lens. Not a second had passed before many rebel hands gripped the fallen man's shoulders and hair. Remember, comrade, the last sun ray you behold will be yours only, shared with no one else, your holy final dawn bellowed a lone heretic's voice amid the silent crowd. By the doing of someone's hands, the lens had turned and its focused ray feasted on the prisoner's eye. Continue. The blinded man's harrowing scream shook the very walls of the place. Consumed by the right, the rebels had not yet noticed the stranger in their midst. The Lord Captain braced herself and... Char charged bravely into battle to crush the enemy. You will beg for mercy, and I will grant none. I will take you down. I like this music. Oh yeah, the battle music's fucking fantastic. There's one. So it looks like there's only gonna be one. Okay. Oh, we can shut off steam. So that we can okay, so that we can go there, alright. Remember, you're controlling her. Oh yeah, I was checking a couple different shots. Okay. Go on, Pascal, you can do it. Good morning, everybody. You ready for some real heresy to happen? Make it happen. No, not me. 
Aren't they all blind? Sometimes. I think that the cultist leader is just kind of chilling, talking to the blind guy. <gasps> nice. Eradicated. Fishwife to the rescue! You can do it, Fishwife. Be a good girl. That's a wall. Damn it, Pascal. That was indeed a wall. I was shooting a bug. Pascal, it you're seemed to shoot the humans, not the bug. Pain places the body. This is bullshit. We need to get you new uh, eyes. No, I have the Hatsune Miku Special Edition. Well, I'm going to take them away from you if you miss another shot. One fewer target! God damn it, Avalon. Stab, not shoot. I'm a man. Taking calculated risk is my second nature. Even though we can't see it, there's a big giant tube in the middle of this fucking open square, by Are the way. Are you fucking kidding? I refuse. No. That's that? why you have the one piece of, like, Another big cover down. where you were. That'll work. I won't compromise my principles. I won't stand for it. Need to shoot fishwife. Indeed, Lord Captain. Kill him. Didn't flinch. <laughs> I've suffered worse. We've got to destroy that thing. What the fuck are those? Oh, they're adorable. They are fun things. I love them. 
I want one as a pet, Avalard. This is not advisable, Captain. But we can use it to kill people. You could train it. Get it, Pascal. Beyond desire condemns you. Good boy, Pascal. You get to keep your eyes. Thank you, Lord Captain. It would be most inefficient to lose my eyes. I would have given you a lesser pair. Lord Captain, I believe his intention is to absolutely devastate your face with a grenade. Uh, so if I just move away, he'll uh, explode on his own? Very possible. Perfect. Solve its own problem. God, there's so many enemies. Good job, Argenta. Make sure to hit the damn thing. I took care of this one. Reduce to dust. Took care of this one. You can do it, Abelard. Well, fuck. You tried, Abelard. You did very good. Reduced to dust. There you go. You a target. Good job, Abelard. I guess we won't keep one as a pet. God, Abelard's gonna Seriously. just destroy that thing. <laughs> Abelard is so fucking good. I love him. And now do I get to him. actually do Abelard's turn. Sweet. 
I took care of this one. Go destroy the thing. Are you seeing the tentacles, by the way? The tentacles? Yeah, on the walls every so often. Shadow tentacles. Oh, yes. Okay. Why did you not destroy the thing? For reasons. Ah! <laughs> Reduced to dust. Hey, there's I a guy next to you. Luck. Yep. I Bye, have a strategy. You. A temporary setback. He stabbed you in the ass. You know what that happens to him now? Um, you never stood a chance. Fuck your walls, apparently. Lord Captain, he shaved a hair off of your ass. How dare he? Why are there tentacles everywhere? How well, Lord Captain, I do you? believe that was your fetish. <laughs> Abelard, we don't talk about fetishes around these people. We do that in the bedroom when no one's looking. Understood, Lord Captain. With everybody else in our group. It is a harem, Lord Captain. Of course it is. They're all mine, including you. What an unfortunate turn of fate. Abelard is very glowy. Be gone. Yes, Lord Captain. Idira has casted a spell upon me. Casted it? <laughs> casted it. <laughs> Good, as long as you're not becoming a heretic. Not, not right now, anyway. Lord Captain, the whiskey has seemed to decimate my ability to conduct myself with grammar. You're fine. Good whiskey. No, Lord Captain. It is $14 a bottle. Next time, Abelard, for the next stream, get yourself the good whiskey. They shall start donating to get you drunk. Never doubt me. Do it, Ma Argenta. I almost called her Magenta. I don't think there's anyone left alive, Lord Captain. Then destroy the damn thing already. Good job. Oh, there is someone left alive, just over there next to you. Where? So if you follow directly across from where that other guy got shot, there's oh, another I dude in the little nook. I am ready for whatever comes. The best defense is a good oh. offense. Bullshit. My gut tells me it's a so bad damn idea. Close. I know, that 1 HP bullshit. Isn't that cute? He thinks he can win. Now the fucking puppy is sleeping. Why did I not foresee this?
Oh, the fucking steam stole her action points. That's dumb. Yeah. Good Up job, goes the weasel, it. Lord Captain. We did it. A ton of bullshit to collect on top of a level up. Can I fall back now? I shall do some clerical work if you want to start closing up. Let me just finish leveling up. For, uh, is it intelligence? The whispers told me a secret. Right? Generally, yes. Gadgetator screen reads access code required. The machine spirits look favorably upon you. You're overcome. You've overcome the cogitator's defenses. A message archive loads up. Judging by the accompanying notes, the messages were meticulously transferred from paper to the sacred machine storage. We can read this later if you want to hit leave. No, we might as well get this over with. New missive. Head of the words of Harbinger of Aurora. Let it be known to you that the prophesied hour is nigh, and the faithful must triple their efforts. Those who stand in the way of our salvation must be swept away. Let it be revealed that you, to you that the enemy is about to receive reinforcements. Remember the name Sachi von Valencius. Her ship has already entered the system. We should expect this enemy to appear near our position. Whoever rids our comrades of this threat will be granted Aurora's special blessing, a chance to stand at the Prophet's side when the hour comes. Be vigilant. Let the final dawn come. New okay. Aurora's Harbingers. All right, dispatches. Tell the Harbingers we've intercepted a convoy of the governor's underlings who were supposed to meet the Von Valencius lass. Only one out of the whole convoy got away. Get away, but he's not long for this world. No one's making it to the governor's hole. Not that, yo that youngster or the one he's supposed to meet. Our comrades have got their hands on the god's Vokcaster. And these fools have no clue. We can hear all their comms. We know their every movement, and we're going to throw them a fine welcome party. Or all must have no doubts that we'll do whatever it takes to stop her enemies. Let the final dawn come. All right, now we can. All yeah, right, guys, so that's work. it. I, you, is it okay if I the emperor oh, we, am, we leveled today. up again yeah that's what the clerical work I was going to do to take care of everybody if you want to close no, out stream while I finish looking. let's see I've still got to too There we go. All right, guys. So we will see you all next time. Thank you so much for joining us for this late night stream. See you on the next stream. And don't forget to check out our other channel. Bye, guys. <laughs>